Hey, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be discussing whether or not wireless chargers degrade the battery life on your smartphone. So the answer to this is not very straightforward and I'll be explaining all the details uh, in the following video. Uh, before we jump right in, don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. And also check out my social media down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord and Twitter as well. So now let's jump right into it. So if you came here for a yes or no answer, you're going to be disappointed because there is no yes or no answer uh, because the answer is yes and no. Um, and I'll explain as to why. So the first point I want to make is how wireless chargers can actually prolong the battery health on your phone. And this, this actually happens indirectly, but is a uh, result of wireless charging. So this kind of, kind of goes into the human nature of things because us humans are inherently really lazy and we always want to see how long our phone's battery will last before we can just put it on the charger. And trust me, dropping the phone on a wireless charger takes less effort than plugging it in uh, using the standard port charge. So I know this is not much of a difference, but trust me, when you're being extra lazy, Dropping your phone onto a wireless charger is much more simple than uh, holding the phone with one hand and plugging the cable with the other hand. So when it comes to lithium polymer and lithium ion batteries, it's always recommended you not drop the, the battery percentage below 20% because that degrades the battery. You do not want to use up all your cycles as fast as possible. You want to keep the battery running for as long as you can and use up less of the charge cycles on the battery. And wireless chargers actually help with that because it's easier to charge your phone on a wireless charger. You're going to want to put it on the wireless charger before it hits the 20% mark, making uh, the phone use less up of, of its charge cycles on the battery. So yeah, uh, since the it's more convenient to use a wireless charger than a standard charger, you're also helping your phone keep its battery cycles last longer as in directly making your battery last longer and the percentage not degrade as faster uh, when you look at the battery's health. So yeah, wireless chargers can actually be beneficial to your phone's battery. But now let's move on to how it can actually degrade your phone's battery. And this is also a indirect uh, consequence of uh, wireless charging. Wireless charging itself doesn't degrade your phone's battery. However, a side effect of wireless charging uh, is what degrades your phone's battery and now I'll explain to you as so. So first we should understand what wireless charging is. Wireless charging is induction charging. It's basically two coils, the transmitter coil and the receiver coil uh, sending charge between each other. Some There are some phones that both have transmitter and receiver coils like uh, the Samsung S20 and the Samsung S21 where you can charge your Galaxy Buds using the phone's wireless charger itself. So the, the phone can be used to charge um, the Galaxy Buds and stuff like that. So, but in most applications, it's the, the transmitting coil and the receiving coil. So when transmitting energy like this wirelessly, the um, the charge has to go through basically air and uh, usually when it's uh, on a wireless charging pad there's a plastic cover on top to hide the coil then there's the air then your then there's your phone's glass or plastic back and then there's the uh, coil inside your phone and sometimes your phone's case is also in between there so there's a lot of mediums at least a minimum of four mediums that the charge should pass through to get to your phone's uh, receiving coil while being transferred in this manner, there's a lot of energy loss. And this energy is what basically is translated to heat. And the closest place that this heat can go to is your phone. There's no other place. I mean, obviously, some's going to go into the table, some's going to go into the frame of the wireless charger. But the next best thing is your phone. And that uh, energy is going straight into your phone. Now, 
um, the reason as to this is wireless chargers are not even close to as efficient as plugged chargers. A recent study uh, showed that wireless chargers use 47% more charge than a standard plugged in charger. So these things are really, really inefficient. They're about, I'd say, 60 to 70% efficient, while a standard plugged in charger is a clearly easily over 95% efficient uh, depending on whether you're charging in fast charge or not because fast charge also uh, reduces the efficiency. So that also applies to wireless chargers because fast charge wireless chargers are way less efficient than uh, standard slow charge wireless chargers. So basically the law of conservation of energy applies here where energy in is equal to energy out. Uh, there's no creation of energy, there's no destruction of energy, it's just conversion of energy form or transmission of energy. So um, since these wireless chargers are that inefficient and the um, charge should travel through uh, many mediums to get to your phone, there's always energy lost. And that energy in the form of heat is what goes to your phone. And when your phone overheats, Guess what's the uh, arch nemesis for your battery? The arch nemesis for any lithium polymer or lithium ion battery is excessive temperature. And that is what degrades your battery. So yeah, wireless chargers can damage your phone's battery if it starts getting too hot. Now a bit of warmth on the wireless charger, that's fine. That's not gonna do nothing to your battery. Uh, a slow charge wireless charger, like a simple 10 watts to 15 watts wireless charger is gonna charge it decently slowly and it's not gonna generate too much heat, so you're good there. But if you're using a fast charge wireless charger like Apple's 20 watt and uh, MagSafe combo, you're gonna generate a lot of heat and your phone is gonna heat up a lot. And there are wireless chargers that now go over 30 watts and etc. etc. So those are those will be generating a lot of heat. This heat has nowhere else to go, so it goes into your phone and it degrades your battery over time due to the heat. So if you really need to use a wireless charger, get one that charges slowly, and if you really need to char to fast charge your phone and you're in a hurry, just plug the phone in. Just, just use your standard charger and when you when you're not in a hurry then you can use your wireless charger but make sure you don't um, use it at a very fast charging rate if you really worry about your battery but if you're not that too worried about your battery health depleting and you replace your phone really often then I guess that's no big deal to you but yeah that's exactly how wireless chargers can actually prolong the life of your phone's battery and also degrade the life of your phone's battery uh, these are both side effects of wireless charging it's not the re it's not wireless charging itself they're just side effects of wireless charging one is a human factor one is a thermals factor with the law of conservation of energy and transmission of energy where induction Anyway, I hope this video answered your question and I hope that my explanation was sufficient. And if so, please don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button if you already haven't. And check out my social media down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.